Hey everybody, this is Tim's take on the second GOP presidential primary debate. If you could call it that, I mean, was it really a presidential debate? It was a discussion uh, between Republicans who are imagining that they want to be president. That is true. Uh, my colleague Jonathan Last wrote this. There was no Republican presidential debate last night. There was only a collection of people playing make-believe and appliant media enabling them. Hard to sum it up better than that. Um, you know, the, here's the thing. Donald Trump, I don't know if you've heard of him, uh, but he is winning in the polls by 40 points, okay? These guys, and, and, and Nikki Haley, who, who went out there to ostensibly debate last night, and in the first hour of the debate, none of them, except Chris Christie, even mentioned him. And, and do you know what Chris Christie did when he got the chance to mention him? Here's what he did. But he looked right into the camera and he said, Look at me, Donald. Those of us up here that are actually debating, we're going to call you. No one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Donald Duck? This is the best that you can do? He's been convicted uh, in a civil court of rape. He attempted a coup. Uh, he's been indicted four times. He has 91 felony counts. I, 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 he told people to inject bleach into their body. And the best attack you have on him is calling him Donald Duck. We're going to call you Donald Duck. What are these people doing? They, they want to live in an alternative universe where Donald Trump doesn't exist and where the Republican Party of the Ronald Reagan era does. Tim Scott mentioned the shining city on the hill. The city on the hill! And they're arguing about who wants to tax, c cut taxes more. Tax, 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 taxpayer, taxpayer, taxpayer. Uh, I, they are talking about a party that is from the past, as if we haven't lived through this massive sea change of populist nationalism that has taken over the Republican Party. You know, I knew... Last night, I didn't watch the debate live because I went to the Beyonce concert because uh, that was a better use of my time. She was amazing. I knew that Nikki Haley had not won the debate when I began to receive texts from Democratic friends telling me how good she was doing. I, I say what you want about Nikki Haley, uh, but she is up there arguing about gas tax cuts and how America needs to be strong in the world and how America needs to be forceful on the world stage. That is not what Republican voters want anymore. They have bought in to Donald Trump's isolationist BS. Uh, nobody, none of my friends, no Democrats, no never Trumpers, no anybody texted me last night saying, you know who's doing a great job? Vivek. Uh, but guess what? The first poll that came out today asking Republican voters, the actual people who will participate in primaries, who they thought won the debate. Donald Trump was in first, 27%. He didn't even show up. Vivek Ramaswamy was in second, 26%. I, I, I'm not, I don't like that. I'm not happy about this. But that is the world that we are actually living in. Where was Nikki Haley? 6% thought that she won the debate. I, I, like That is the percentage of the party that is looking for the neocon, pre-Trump era, Republican-style leadership to come back. But the Republican Party voter is a different animal. Uh, they looked at that debate and they're like, yeah, I want the guy who basically said we should give Ukraine to Putin and, and doesn't really care that much about Taiwan, right? Like, that is where the Republican Party is now. That is what Vivek was offering. Uh, unfortunately for Vivek, they already have Donald Trump in the race, so, so they don't need to go uh, turn to him in the polls. But if Donald Trump did disappear, you know, this is why this debate was such make-believe. That people are like, well, if Donald Trump just disappeared, maybe he goes to jail, then we'd have a really substantive debate between Nikki Haley and DeSantis. No, we wouldn't. Vivek would take a lot of the Trump vote. Uh, you know, may, another Trumper might show up from the sidelines. And, and, and until the rest of the field wakes up and sees that, you can't win a, a game if you don't really understand what the rules are. You know, you can't sell a product if you don't know what the consumer is looking for. And what the consumer is looking for is, is Trump and Trumpism. And, you know, the rest of these guys, unless they can make a coherent argument against Trump or make a coherent argument about why they are actually better at delivering Trumpist policies to these voters, you know, then they're just wasting their time.